And he cried with a loud voice, as when a lion roareth. And when he cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. Kingdom come. And there followed hail and fire mingled with blood. Wesley. There fell a great star from heaven, burning as if it were a lamp. And I beheld and heard an angel. Not again. Saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. <laughs> That's enough, Wesley. You know what the doctor said about overexerting yourself. You'll pull out the IV tube. It's in the revelation of St. John. All of it. I can go on. There's more. You're my pastor, Norman. I can tell you. I see things. Divine prophecies. Nightmares, Wesley. You've had them before. That's why you're in the hospital. Not nightmares, Pastor. Visions. Visions. I see an eagle. An eagle carrying a golden lance. I know, Wesley. And the great bat. Dark, shrieking. They're fighting. Legions. Legions of the mighty drowning in a lake of fire. Washed up on waves of burning sand. I know, Wesley. You've told me before. And a flag in the shape of a man. Red, white, and blue. But the red is blood red. The man is tattered and torn, lost behind a wall of fire. Oh, please, Wesley, I'm trying to help. Don't make me call a nurse again. Seven thunders will utter their voices. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. Babylon falls, Norman. Be the one who listens to me. <laughs> Wesley, you shouldn't be getting out of bed. Nurse, nurse. The sands <laughs> run out and I, <laughs> I can do nothing but wait in my own filth for sleep to finally claim me. Someone must act. Jeez, oh, Mr. Dodds. Doctor, Mr. Dodds has pulled out his IVs again. Wesley, please, take comfort. There is peace waiting. Of course there is, Norman, for me, not <coughs> for you. Nurse, 100 cc's of Demerol, quickly, please. There, there, Mr. Dodds, let's get you back into bed, and we'll fix up something that'll help you sleep. Hear me, Norman, I owe you much, yet I have nothing to leave you save insight. And I will give power unto my two witnesses. Just hold still, Mr. Dodds. This will bring you pleasant dreams. Be my witness, Pastor. It's all there in the Bible. The end is near. Read the book. Wesley, this isn't the time. Read! It might help if you do what he says. Uh, all right. Uh, First Corinthians. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. There was more, but Wesley Dodds never heard it. In the end, he was listening to another voice. A voice, I hope, that brought him peace. A fine eulogy, Pastor McKay. Well, thanks. And thank you, Mrs. Waters, for coming out to fill out the crowd. Wesley Dodds deserved to have people at his funeral. And people from the church was all I could think of. From the looks of things, I'd say he didn't have many friends. Not at the end, anyway. Did you know him long? Not really. He came to the church toward the end of his life, questioning what there was to believe in these days. I wish now I'd had better answers. Well, it's nice seeing you. You know, the three of us shared quite a few dinners in our apartment. My wife, Ellen, God rest her soul, used to tease Wesley about living in the past. That's nice, but it's getting late. The next minute, she was practically begging him to tell another tale of his glory days. Glory days? Yes, apparently he was quite an adventurer in his early days. 
Back then, his dreams were of yesterday's, not tomorrow's. Of bright times, not barbaric. What sort of adventurer? Hmm? Oh, well, a costumed adventurer. He called himself the Sandman. He was a superhero. Huh! Superheroes. You'll excuse the expression. I can't say I think much of these costume types anymore. The water on my block was shut off for a week after the last fight they had. Newspapers call the fights rumbles. Makes them sound dramatic. But they're just brawls. Gang wars. Huh! Superheroes. There hasn't been a real superhero in the world since Superman vanished. And that was years ago. I can't say I think much of this character who took his place. This... this... Magog, or whatever he calls himself. Nothing but a thug, if you ask me. Hey, Pastor. Can we give you a ride? Yeah, no thanks. The rain should be clearing up. I think I'll walk. I lost my faith in an interesting way. For years, I'd believed. Believed in God, in salvation, in the idea of being holy. I believe that an educated man who does not believe in miracles is not a realist. Oh, I bought it all. But sometime around the turn of the century, I lost it. No single act drove me to despair, not even when my beloved Ellen passed on. It was more the constant reminders, day in and day out, that we were insignificant, that humans didn't matter. Humanity seemed to dwindle as the world teetered on the brink. No one seemed to notice. People like Mrs. Waters feel the frustration, but they don't really understand. No one does, except maybe for Wesley Dodds, and now he's gone. Before the end, before the bitterness overcame him, before he started seeing things, we'd go for walks on streets just like this. For hours, he'd moan about the end of things like the Olympic Games and Nobel Prizes. Collectible souvenirs, memor... Hey, Pops, check out the merchandise. Huh? Uh, no thanks. You can't pass this up. Look, I got a genuine AM-FM radio from before the turn of the century. It still works. Check it out. The United Nations today enacted more measures to curb metahuman violence around the globe. Secretary General Wormwood promised swift and effective action to deal with metahuman activities. However, a recent poll shows that 91% of U.S. citizens believe the new measures will be ineffective in stopping the frequent outbreaks of metahuman... You like? No, thank you. Oh, come on, Pops. I, I got a signed game ball from the very last World Series ever played back in 2002. 200 bucks and it's yours. Eh, yeah, sorry, no. Oh, okay, 150. What's the matter? Too steep for you? Uh, how about a signed copy of... Under Sometimes Wesley would name. ambush complete strangers and ask them how much they missed the concept of human achievement. I don't know what surprised me more, the, the weirdness of the question or all the people who seemed to know what he was talking about. I tried to argue with him. I joked that he was grousing like any old codger unable to appreciate the new generation. He wouldn't laugh. He insisted that human initiative began to erode the day people asked a new breed to face the future for them. He mocked their worth, these newcomers, and spoke instead of legends gone, of costume champions who had, in his day, inspired human achievement, not belittled it. He swore he'd never forget the world they came from. He wanted them to be remembered. He wanted them to live again. <laughs> Good God, I'm starting to ramble as badly as he did. Feeling a little lightheaded, too. Maybe I need food. Good afternoon, citizen. Welcome to Planet Krypton. How may I serve you? Good Lord, what is this place? It used to be a deli. Now it's a Planet Krypton. Superfood served by superheroes. We got all the oldies here. The Flash, Martian Manhunter, and check out the decor. That's a real Batarang up there. Belonged to the Batman himself. At least, that's what the manager tells us. Planet Krypton? Come on, don't you get it? Pop culture references, very retro, very in. No offense, but you look like you've been around long enough to remember the old timers. Batman, Fishman, Aquaman. Right, that's it. Me, I've never even seen those guys. 
I hear they're all retired now anyway, which is cool by me. I wouldn't want the real deal coming around and showing me up in this outfit. <laughs>